Hello everybody, this is Sia Jodi. In this video, I would like to talk about the rational functions for SAT Maths Subject Test Level 2. Alright, let's do it. Okay, rational function. A function is a rational function if and only if f or x is equal to p or x by q or x. In this case, both p or x and q or x are polynomial functions. But q or x cannot be equal to zero. The rational functions are not continuous. That is, they can be holes and asymptotes when this q or x is equal to zero. Let me show you one example. f or x is equal to a squared minus 1 by a plus 1. Okay, this is a rational function. Both are polynomial. So, what we need to do first is we have to see that this function can be factored. It can be factored, you know, a squared minus 1 squared. So, I was going to factorize this x plus 1, x minus 1 over x plus 1. See, this can be cancelled. So it will be like x minus 1. Let me graph it. x, y. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So I'm going to use y equal to m x plus b here before it has become a rational uh, linear function. So the y intercept is negative 1, so this is y intercept. Slope will be 1, 1 over 1, so which is 1 over 1 is here. So this is, it will look like a linear function. But x cannot be equal to negative 1, you see? This denominator cannot be equal to 0, so this cannot be, this will become 0 when x is equal to negative 1. So x cannot be negative 1, which means this is negative 1, negative 2. Here, there is no value in here. So this is called a hole. When, if you plug in negative 1 to x, the denominator will be 0. So if once the denominator becomes 0, there is a hole or symptom. In this case, there is a hole. Okay? So this is the function. I'm going to label it uh, y, uh, f of x is equal to a squared minus 1 by x plus 1. See? So they are not continuous. There can be both an assembly when the denominator is equal to zero. Get it? Okay? So let me show, let me talk about assemblies here. Let me erase this. So the next example I want to show is f of x is equal to 2x plus 7 over x minus 3. In this case, you can factorize and you can cancel out anymore. So there will be asymptotes. There are two kinds of asymptotes, vertical asymptotes and horizontal asymptotes. Okay, let's talk about vertical asymptote first. Vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote occurs when the denominator is equal to zero. So I'm gonna just equalize the denominator equal to zero. So x is equal to two. This is where the vertical asymptote is. Okay, another one is horizontal asymptote. In horizontal asymptotes, there are three gates. So we have to think about this polynomial. Both are polynomial, right? As I explained before. So we have to see the highest degree. So in this case, highest degree is m, and the denominator highest degree is n. So if top is bigger, which means m is bigger than n, there is no horizontal asymptote. If m is less than n, the, the degrees of the highest degree of the numerator is smaller than the highest degree of the denominator, which means m is less than n, the horizontal center will be y is equal to zero. If they are the same, y is equal to the, the, the division of their coefficient a over b. Okay, that's how we buy horizontal symptoms. Let's see in this case, the highest degree from the numerator, the highest degree is 1 here, right? The lowest, the highest degree from the denominator is also 1. 
So in this case, they are same. Same means that m is equal to n, which is y is equal to a over b. So in this case, a is equal to 2, right? a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. So which is y is equal to 2 by 1, so which means y is equal to 2. That's the particle asymptotes. That's the particle asymptotes. Okay, let's draw the graph. A, y. 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2. Okay, so the vertical asymptote is 3. So vertical asymptote with x is equal to 3. So it is here, the vertical asymptote. Let me use another color. So this is vertical asymptote, which is x is equal to 3. And then horizontal asymptote, y is equal to 2. So horizontal asymptote is here. So y is equal to 2. This is horizontal asymptote. Okay, now let's find y intercept. When you want to find the y intercept, the value of x is 0, which is y intercept is 7 over minus 3. 7 over minus 3, which is around more than 2. My, more than minus 2, right? 7 over minus 3 will be around uh, somewhere here. Let's say here. This is y intercept. Negative 7 over 3. And x in the cell will be when y is equal to 0. So if you put this 0, it will be and 0 is equal to 2x plus 7 over x minus 3. So x minus 3 will be times here. So it will be like 0 is equal to 2x plus 7. So x is equal to negative 7 over 2, which is negative 3 by 5. Negative 3 by 5. So x in the cell will be. Um, somewhere around here, 3, 3.5, right? So which is here, that's A in the set. So the function would, the graph would look like, uh, the graph would look like this. They won't, they will approach to the assembly, but they will, they won't be there. And then the graph will look like here. Okay? So there will be assemblies. The function is not continuous. Particular central is when you equalize the denominator with zero, you get particular central. For example, central is there are three conditions. In this case, that uh, degrees are the same, the highest degrees are the same. So you have to do a over b, the coefficient two over one, which is two, and then we draw this x equal to three here and y equal to two here, and then we plot the intercept. To find y intercept, we have to substitute zero to x which is 0, 0, so you get negative 7 over 3, which is here. And to find x in the set, you have to substitute 0 to y, which is, you solve it, you get negative 7 over 2, which is 3.5 here. And then you draw this uh, curve. It, 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 won't, it won't pass through the central line. And then there will be exactly the same line here. They are the opposite direction, okay? That's... Okay, let me show you another example. Let me erase this. I want to show is f of x is equal to 1 by x minus 2. Okay, so this one. Uh, let's find vertical asymptote first. Vertical asymptote is um, denominator is equal to 0, right? So x minus 2 is equal to 0. So which is x is equal to 2, which is vertical asymptote. And the horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote is, uh, let's see. The, this one has x bar 0, right? Because this is 1 and this is x bar 1. So the bottom is bigger. Bottom is bigger is y is equal to 0. Okay, this is top bigger. This bottom bigger is the same. So for this case, vertical uh, horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. Okay, now let's draw the graph. x, y. Let's okay, so 1, 2, Minus 1, minus 2. Okay. So x is equal to 2. The vertical asymptote. So here. x is equal to 2. Vertical asymptote. And the horizontal asymptote is y0. So y0, you don't need to draw anymore. So y0 is already here. So it's horizontal asymptote. And let's find x intercept. Oh, uh, let's find y intercept first. y intercept is when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, it will be 1 over minus 2. So it will be 1 over minus 2, so it may negative half. So this is y intercept. And x intercept. There won't be x intercept, right? So because this is horizontal asymptote, so the graph will look like this. 
and exactly like this on the other side. Okay, that's how we draw question of question when the bottom degree is bigger. Okay, so let me show you one last example. Okay, the next example I would like to show is uh, f of x is equal to 3, 2x squared minus 6 pi, 3x minus 6. So as usual, let's find vertical sum loop first. Vertical sum loop is what happens when happens when the denominator is equal to zero. So 3x minus 6 is equal to zero. 3x equal to 6. x is equal to 2. This is vertical sum loop. In this case, let's see horizontal sum loop for the degrees. This degrees, this is one, right? So this degree, which is top is bigger, right? Top is m. M is bigger, which is meant there is no horizontal sum loop. So horizontal sum loop is none. Okay. Now let's draw the graph. One, two, three. Minus one, minus two, minus three. One, two, three. X, Y. Okay. So let's draw vertical sum loop, which is x is equal to two, which is here. Okay. Now let's find y intercept. Y intercept would be one x is equal to zero. So this whole thing will be equal to zero, and this is equal to zero. So negative six over negative six, which is equal to one. So y intercept is equal to one. So x is equal to two. And let's find x intercept. To find x intercept, you have to put y into zero, right? So 0 is equal to 2a squared minus 6, 3x minus 6. So I'm going to multiply it here, so it will be like 2a squared minus 6. So 6, 2a squared. So if you divide like 6 over 2, you get 3. So it will be uh, plus or minus root 3. So plus or minus root 3 would be around 1.5, so it will be here and it will be here. Okay. So let me draw the graph here. Something like this. And there will be a slant sample. Okay, let me erase this. Okay. Getting confusing. So it will be like, like this. So no horizontal sample. Only this flat sample. Alright guys, this is how you do rational function, drawing the graphs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.